Hi guys, look at you here. Today we'll be making spicy enoki mushrooms. <gasps> oh, look at you. Are those the famous spicy enoki mushrooms that mukbangers eat? Yes. If you're well versed in the mukbang world, then you've definitely seen that eye popping red thumbnail. And they're super spicy, just like me. A little sweet just like you. And they have a lovely tingly noise when you chew down on them. So stick around till the end and we can chew on them together. Now let's get spicy enoki mushrooming. So I'm visiting Miku's farmer's market today because I haven't been there in months. And oh, what are those weird alien things? Enoki. Emoji? Enoki. Hokey pokey? Oh, enoki. Mushrooms? Eh, I'll take it. She says they're the special of the week because what? You found these mushrooms growing in your basement? Yeah. Eh, I've had worse. Just a disclaimer, do not eat mushrooms growing out of your basement. Anyways, I have three bundles of enoki, around 450 grams in total. And you'll notice that the trunk of the enoki is brownish and tough. That's the mycelium, aka the root of the mushroom. Looks a bit strange and is not edible, but it's normal. So use that white belt you got in first grade and chop it off. But don't over chop it or else you'll be throwing out that precious enoki real estate. Briefly rinse the mushrooms under cold water, patting them dry to prevent any water absorption, and start slicing the mushrooms into thin sheets. What I like to do is grab a hold of the head of the enoki with my left hand and cut a few inches into the butt of the mushroom, then carefully peel the mushroom sheets off. We're aiming to thinly slice them so that every single strand and crevice of the enoki is coated in the spasse sauce. They should be around the thickness of your left pinky. And since I'm a spasse girl, we gotta prepare our spasse sauce. Rule number one, always use gochujang, aka spasse fermented Korean chili pepper paste. It's a little sweet, a little spicy, and we'll thicken our sauce right up. Oh yeah, and you'll also need gochugaru. Not really spicy, but adds a nice vibrant color. So to a bowl, plop in two tablespoons of gochujang. I'm using a mild version, but if you want yours super hot, then you can use the spicy version. We can't forget gochujang's bestie, gochugaru. Mine is finely grounded. Sprinkle sprinkling in a tablespoon of it. Now to balance out the spice, I'll be adding in two teaspoons of granulated sugar. And for a little umami, add a teaspoon of soy sauce. And since garlic makes any dish taste like it came out of a Michelin star restaurant, you gotta grate three cloves to let all the juices and aromas come out. Shabam it into the bowl and thin everything out with three tablespoons of water. And the secret ingredient to this spicy sauce is fire sauce. You know the sauce in the Samyang fire noodles. I'm using two times the spice because it hurts so good and I like to torture myself. This sauce is totally optional and not for the faint of heart. And as you can see by the fire breathing chicken, it is not calling you a chicken when you eat this, but it actually contains chicken bouillon. This is the weapon of choice that all the mukbangers use in their spicy enoki mushroom videos. So if you want, grab your Samyang fire sauce. I'll be using around two teaspoons of it. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. And oh, look at that lusciously glistening red sauce. So glisteny, I can use it as lip gloss, uh, which I have not done because it is not fun, but I will say it's a natural lip plumper. To a nonstick pan on medium low heat, coat it in a little oil and transfer the enokis, making sure each enoki sheet touches the pan and pan fry both sides for two minutes each. During this time, you'll notice the enokis shrink and they're just excreting out any moisture. After around four minutes, the enoki should have a light golden tan. So grab your spasse sauce and drizzle it onto each enoki sheet. Speaking of drizzle, it's raining today even though the forecast said we would have a foot of snow. Take a brush or a spoon to further coat the sauce onto the mushrooms so that every inch gets the spasse sauce treatment. Flip them over and dab more sauce onto the naked mushroom so it's nice and coated as well. 
Once it's all nicely coated, pour around three tablespoons of water and let it Michael Buble around five minutes to let the enoki marinate and bathe in the spicy sauce. Something that would be painful for us, I think. <laughs> but yummy for these mushrooms. And once the sauce has thickened, line and stack them onto a rectangular plate. And yes, it has to be rectangular because geometrically speaking, it makes the most sense to display the vertically laying enoki mushrooms. I don't make the rules. Here you can see we have some leftover sauce in the pan. So let's pour around a quarter of a cup of water. That'll help dilute it a bit and bring it to a simmer until it has a thick drizzly consistency. Drizzle the leftover spicy sauce onto the mushrooms and serve with a bed of warm rice. There we have it, spicy enoki mushrooms. And before the mushrooms run away, let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. All right, cheers, first bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Mmm. Mmm. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that spicy sauce. A nice chili pepper flavor. Has a hint of sweetness, but it's not too salty, even though it looks really saucy. The anoki mushroom is very umami. You definitely need to pair it with some white rice because it is very saucy. The flavor of the sauce is very similar to tteokbokki, except much more spicy. It's not as spicy as you think, even though I added two times the fire sauce. Actually, it's a bit spicy, but I have a high spice tolerance, so. Totally forgot. Let's try it with the seaweed. So plop one here. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Seaweed adds a nice crisp and seaweed flavor. Mm. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and I'll see you guys next time.